Welcome back guys. In the previous lecture, we have created the API endpoint and we also got the details from the backend to get the single room details. So already we are having the room details endpoint and the uh, front end. So we are going to design this uh, room description as well as the booking component or booking screen. So let's go back to the VS code. So this is booking screen. Remove these two. So here also you have to write the same thing. Uh, first of all, apply the class name as container. Class name. So here container is not necessary. If it is necessary, later we will apply. So first write the condition. If it is loading, we have to show one H1 text with the value loading. If it is having any error, we have to show h1 text with value error and if there is no error if there is no loading then our data got successfully so here i am going to implement the div mm, yeah so here i am going to write the row I'm going to create one row sorry yeah div row so from this row I'm going to use 10 columns dot call md 10 sorry not 10 five five columns in the first five columns I will display the image and the remaining five columns I will display these details so you can use 10 or you can use 11 anything so I will use uh, 11 sorry I will use for the first five columns for displaying the big image and remaining five columns for uh, dot call MD five remaining five columns for uh, descriptions purpose so booking details as well as the amount purpose so here in the first five columns I am going to display the image of the room and uh, name of the room so I will write the H1 room dot name after that image IMG uh, image is equal to SRC room dot IMG URLs sorry image URLs of zero we are going to apply the first image and I'm going to apply the class name as big IMG because it is the room description so you can display big image big IMG control s let's check these things so let's refresh the page cannot read property name of undefined so I think we are getting some error let me check it so what error we did everything is working loading we are checking error we are checking by default so here you can see we are performing the api operation whenever the component is rendered so whenever the component is rendered both loading and error we cannot check it so that's the reason automatically it will take these as the true things so that's the reason it is showing room name is not so these things are not executing and these use effect also not executing so whenever the component is rendered we have to keep loading is equal to true so then only it will process the request so let me show you this loading is equal to true so after processing the request it will set the loading is equal to false and error is equal to false and then these request will be processed now let's check refresh yeah here you can see it's working fine so whatever the page may be if you are performing any api operation in the use effect hook so before uh, while initializing the loading only you have to set uh, use state is equal to true so then only you may not get the errors so in the home page we didn't implement it that so, but some pages it will work like that so uh, let's go to back let's go back refresh yeah 
now it's working fine so let's create these uh, right side details uh, right side we are having the booking details name all these things uh, let's see the right side ones uh, where is it booking screen yeah first i will write one h1 text h1 booking details uh, i will write hr hr means horizontal line control s refresh loading yeah here you can see booking details uh in the booking details first we have the name uh, name is equal to logged in username as of now we haven't implemented this from date to date max count so let's uh, assign these values statically so later after getting logged in we can get these values from this root so as of now you have to apply one static names uh i will write uh, p tax the first one will be name uh name is equal to some value and then p from date from date and p to date so these are all the dynamic values which we have to get from the logged in user so that's the reason i'm leaving it empty control s and the last one is i think max count max count so already we are having this value room dot max count control s refresh yeah name from date to date and max count we got everything and now apply these bold tags so let's keep all these paragraphs in the bold refresh loading yeah now it's looking much better and apply some margin top and add the amount section and here i'm going to add the one more div and you can also keep all these uh, booking details in a separate div that's better div yeah here uh, in the amount write one h1 text amount apply one hr tag and let's see the values uh total days rent per day total amount uh total days and uh, sorry we have to apply in the p tag total days let's calculate this later p uh rent per day rent per day and the last one is total amount why my snippets are working very late total <laughs> amount and bottom of this you have to apply one button i'll create separate div for this button book now button book now or pay now so already we are having book now button in the home screen i am going to write pay now class name is equal to btn btn primary so let's keep all this p tags in one div or not div uh, bold let's keep everything bold yeah now let's check loading refresh uh, booking details uh, total days rent per day amount yeah rent per day should work uh, 
rooms dot rent per day that's it uh, we got everything so if you want to bring this pano button uh, right side you can use it so you just apply the class name as float left for this div class style not class it is style so the bootstrap is sucking everywhere here uh, style uh, what is it float float left refresh sorry i think it's right float right we are moving right side refresh yeah now the button is right side so if you want to bring all these uh, texture right side also you have to use the same tag so copy this style and uh, apply for these divs here also you can apply so everything will be moved at the right side as like our developed version what something went wrong remove it so these are the separate divs so instead of float right you can apply the style uh, text align right so it will be better for the bringing all the text at the right side so style equal to uh, just write the property text align so previously in bootstrap fourth version we used to write uh, class name is equal to text right but i don't know what the hell is happening with the bootstrap fifth version it's not working text align uh, right uh copy this and put it here also so if you are using please don't use bootstrap 5 so it is having lots of bugs refresh yeah now everything is at the right side now let's add the styling for this uh, page so first of all uh, i will bring every column at the center of the page justify content center i hope at least this one work refresh yeah it is working and i will add margin top 5 mt5 refresh uh, it is also working fine and i will add the box shadow already we have implemented the box shadow class in the index.css the class name is uh, bs i think box shadow here you can see bs let's apply the box shadow bs refresh yeah box shadow is applied but it is applied to the entire row so let's add the margin to the parent div class name is equal to uh m5 yeah now it's looking good so if you want to increase the columns also you can increase it so i think it's looking good so no need of increasing and extending everything so after uh, uh, completing the authentication section we are going to fill these details name from date to date and we are going to calculate the total days because if you want to calculate the total days we should have the from date and to date in the url like our developed version so as of now we haven't implemented this because to implement this first we should have the logged in user then only we can book the room so in the next section we are going to do that so thank you see you in the next class so i think here the gap is very high let's see now let's try to decrease it so instead of column d5 let's use column d6 here also column d6 refresh the page yeah now it's looking good thank you